thousand dollars a day. <laughs> I have six pair of these. Oh, two pair of these. They're wrong. They're wrong in anybody's room. I'll find No, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm too good. You won't see them. Yeah. You won't see them. Do you know it? Which one? Where do they come from? You know? That's a pretty foundation. So, so you can use that as a foundation because it's all a conceal. It's a pretty. She got me. Should I just put away my brush? So you're going to have to help me? Yeah. So before you come on, I'm like, I'm like, I wish we could not believe me on slow mo. Yeah. Okay. Because we're on air, we can't go up this way. Right. We gotta go the other way. That's what it is. Let's open the door. No, no, no. We're we'll gonna get it off anyway. Right? Okay. So you guys. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is that the agency? Is it Sergio? Yeah. But is it Sergio or is it Angelique? Yeah, I spoke to her. So I know she's not there. Yeah. She's Sergio, girl. Oh, I can. I can use some money. I did. I did. I did. Silverboard. Silverboard. Okay. Okay, so you got them skinny line, right? Yeah, they're going to change on stairs. Because like I said, this is the shoes that are going to work for the whole show. So even if you want to, I mean, you could put the shoot into the no, first look if you want to do it that way. And now it's up to you. A light color. Let's do it. Light Inside the bag with the first You could do that. Okay, guys, don't, 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 don't take the prices off, though. Yeah. Let me have the light part in here. Couple of days. Fine. And then, you might, let me get you up for a minute. Let me you up for a minute. So you can be out there. Right about here. Right about here. I'm locked in. Okay. That e mark, honey. She can find the light. Turn around and just looking for the light. She said, Here is right here. I'm going right there. That's what a model does. You gotta find it. Looks pretty. Yeah, I like the way you're walking up. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I just want you to pack that down. Okay. See your hand. Did you work in China? Yeah. Have you worked in China? Mm -hmm. You were with an agency? Okay. okay. You do some runway work. You got a favorite photographer? That you picked on me that doesn't put pictures of it. You two fill up with your own hand now. You almost in? No, I have a box. Mm-hmm. There's a black other one up there. Mm-hmm. That's all right. You don't hit, hit a place. Don't worry about it. Thank you. 
This one out, but you didn't just do that. the lights on you. You're okay. right. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on over here, sweetie. Give you something to do. Let me do it. We gotta get that other white girl in there. And this pocketbook. Come on. Thank God you had that dad on Turner. You tried to bring her back, didn't you? You brought that boot color. She got that boot color out. That's that, uh, she took that boot color out. Look. Take that color out. That's what's in, that's what's the name the color. Yeah, but this ain't a class. That's the pro no, this is a job. Uh, no. Y'all gotta get better than this. Come on, Tanya, I have to put your lashes on, huh? Oh, well, y'all gotta get better than this. Yeah, I'm gonna start on her. I want you to finish her up. Now, if you don't realize that liner, Make sure you let me know about it. it, it this should be easier for you to do. I got the problem here. Well, now we're missing is the gold. We got to work that gold in there. Give me that gold again. That's to do it. That's to do it. Yeah, oh, okay. that's your, that's your tiny, she was, tiny, tiny kind of, mm, uh, tiny with that eye swinging up like that. Oh, man. That's a, I'm going to get her. She needs to come to class. She need, you need to come to Chicago and take a class with her. You could be fabulous. I'm telling you, y'all just missed the point. 
I can't, I can't do it. Well, then you need to figure out if you want to fly around the world or you want to be a fabulous makeup artist. I'm a millionaire. Man. I've been doing this for years. But when she was a baby, she could. Oh, I, I told her already. I told her what to do. You don't get him to come, but I don't know if you know. I know what she did. This is love. I wouldn't be talking to her like this if I didn't. She knows me. You got in. This is, this is not the place for me. Because the time you get back to me is good. This girl, she ain't here to play. She here to make money. Yes. Yeah. This girl, this girl, you don't know, you know, leave this thing. Man. Trust me on that. Oh, you got to tell me about them. I've been doing this. I've done every fabulous star in the world, including the Iman. And when the Iman came in, the Tanya would have been in Iman's uh, portfolio. She would have been one of the girls on Iman's uh, poster. You see, did you ever see Iman's poster of her cosmetics? Were you one of the girls? Yes, of course. Was that you, really? Not me. No, actually. oh, okay. <laughs> but it's a girl that looks like you. She used to Asian girl, and she's a couple girl that was fabulous. She really did. Y'all got to be quicker than this. Yeah. Got to be quicker. You got to be quicker. Keep coming back. Okay. Come on, you got to be quicker than that. Don't put me. I know y'all girlfriend, but she ain't that hard to do. Okay. Okay, you overworking that. No, She's, just, finished, yeah, She's no, finished. She's finished. She's finished. She's finished. She's good. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank God she already was pretty. Mm -hmm. You got to work. Give me a little bit of a little bit of translucent powder. And on her nose? No, you just give it to me. I ain't gonna let you touch it anymore. I'm gonna touch it. Mm -hmm. Come on. I wish I had me one of me when y'all were starting off like y'all started. I wish I had a person like me that would take me to I ain't have one of you <laughs> Give me a sponge. Give me one of those good sponges. I want those cheap ones. All right, you got one. No, this is a good one. You gotta get the four corners on it. Whose powder is this? Whose powder is this? Hey, look, and did you use the actual? RPM. And you took a Wesleyan bottle? A well, job? They did it? <laughs> they doing the terrestrial. I'm just gonna do this. See it? Touch okay. in here to make that stuff softer right through here. See that? This makes it softer right through there. See, when you got faces like this, you don't even have to open them. What you do is you appreciate the face. And see, when you start over, and I know you're learning, but you're pretty good for learning. You just need to take that class with me, that's all. All y'all don't know, honey. I wish the people would offer me a class back in the day. How long have you been in New York? Mm -hmm. What's your age? What's your age? You know, you still don't be working on your own? How's it going, dude? You get to come, you working for Avon? Yeah. Have you done Avon catalog? Yeah. Avon. Yeah. Reminds me of Carl Art. I used to be in Carl Art. You got that Carl Art too. And I think Avon's got this nice bone structure. I've done both chairs, and she looks like 16. And once you got that face structure, you see everything works. It kind of softens everything. Only if you had got that ring on it, you would have been fine. But I can, I can get away with this in the ring. I can get away with this in the ring. I can get away with it in the ring. I can get away with it in the ring. You have to work in the ring. Let's see if I can put it in I didn't want to bring my gold all the way over like that. You kind of mixed it. Did you use the powder? Did you mix the powder or you had to? See, I told you not to use that but then I'm going to beat your butt. I told you not to use that. Mm -hmm. Open it. I'm going to beat your butt. You're young enough to beat your butt. Yeah, that's the one I did want you. It worked out though. The only thing about it, now i got to make sure that it's right. And she's using the pink. What color are you using on that lip? What color are you using on that lip? Let me see. No. No, it doesn't matter her being lighter. What it meant. What it meant. Take that color off. Take that color off. I'm going to put that in the orange one. That's a little thin. doesn't matter. What you all always, you, you did it already, so that's fine. Like 
Start off, you never know who you're working with. A photographer sometimes is using it. No. Did you give it a, you give it a call? Yeah, that's it. That's yours, right? Is that your phone? Be careful. You're gonna have to be careful. What happened is what I didn't want to happen. She might be just kind of different. That's what color I wanted her to do. I think they have to color I wanted her to do. You know what? Let me, let me, I'm going to, this color, see this color right here? This is your skin color. This is what you do. This is what I want you to do, what you do on you. Put it on her. Same thing you did. Stay for the, just for the different colors I say to you. Don't put the gold on. I want you to lay that foundation on like you lay your foundation. She's the same color. Go over there. I'm going to switch up on you. See it? Let's do this. Not that it's wrong, but I'll okay. talk to you later. Okay. But I want you to do it. I don't want her to get into it. She's getting now into the ashy color. Right? Because she did a little too much and you couldn't put those colors ahead to change. Now, she, see, look at this right mm -hmm. here. That's red. That's red. That's mm -hmm. a red brown. Mm -hmm. That's the chocolate red. That mm -hmm. red's in it. So you always got to warm her up. She's red. See, mm -hmm. when we put, when we went back and put the ebony on her, you had to be careful because the ebony kind sometimes stays so gray. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. When Alex Wet used to take a piece of you for own thing, she never changed the skin. She mm -hmm. didn't know Alex Wet. She can't do it, but they made her look like a spook. The best thing is to stay away from Give me that foundation really good. Don't put no gold on. Just do it highlight and foundation. Okay. Yeah, just do it that way. You got to be fast at it because we're running behind. Okay, good. This is my face. I want to work this face so bad. I want to work with this face. Look at it. It's different, isn't it? That's why you like it. But you got to master it. Yeah? You got to learn how to master it. You should keep working with each other, though. Because that's how you do it. You keep working with each other. I'm just going to tone some of this down. I'm going to put some warmer tones in it. Here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it has to change the cotton on the skin tone. That piece here. Not that you didn't work it, though. You worked it. I can see what you're doing. Once you get the right skin tone with it, it's going to work out with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I say, I say, you can't work, you can't practice here. You got to get it on the nose, see? It's a real job. You do that when you test it. But I would test her. I would test her. I wouldn't leave her alone. I would test the hell out of her. She'd be a star if she was with me. You're laughing. <laughs> with me. Mm -hmm. We both get the job. How about that? <laughs> I killed two birds at one stone. See, look at the skin now. See, it's better to keep it that way. Let me see what that red looks like, though. 
that was the one you just showed me. Okay, shake it up for me. You go do that other girl. Start her before she started to walk. Oh, she went over there. You want me to bring her over here? Did you move over here? Did you move over here? Okay, you gotta ask me before you do that. I'm gonna bring her over here and let her do it. I'm gonna let you go without her. Not because I was trying something, that's why oh, I mean, okay. I was trying, trying okay, to switch no up worries. on her makeup artist. Makeup artist is gonna be the one. It's your world. Okay. I'm just here to assist. Okay. No, you, you took over there for me Ooh. because you knocked me off. Oh, uh, <laughs> said correction. Correction, you took over. <laughs> Each hand is different, so okay. I'm trying to... That's your color, right? Mm -hmm. see, what, see, I like it when it's almost natural like this. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't lose the original color to it because if you do, you're going to somehow fake it. You're a pretty girl. Let me see some of your pictures. Do you have your pictures with you? Any of your pictures? Not on your phone? Mm -hmm. You, are you serious? You the first? No, that's the first one I've ever seen. I show off. She said, "No, I don't have them on my phone. I'm not interested. I, I don't know. I don't care about a famous maker. Who's going to give me a job? I don't have a picture for him. No. That's big. Let me see this color with the red. In. That's it. See, that's what happened. You don't use this color. See, it turns darker than a bottle. There's still no warmth in it. There's no warmth in it. See, it's just so burnt." So you have to be careful with burn. When it's coming out burn like that, that means it looks like this. This is Mac, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a deceiving company. <laughs> it is. It's the most deceiving company I've ever worked with, Mac. No, see, that burns. I like it just like this. I like it in its natural state. Watch me, watch me doll that up. I like it in a natural state. Okay, who we got? We got another model? No, we're waiting. We're waiting for one? Yes. Okay.
See that sponge on the internet? There you go. Very doctor like. Got one. Sponge. Thank you for trying to get over there. More to put there in the eye. Where's your bar for? I use it. Oh, you do? Let me see. What color is it? I use it. Right. It's gonna guide you right into where you're supposed to be. And look, we're gonna cheat it back there. Put it over there. Right. So, a brush it for brush it for brush it for brush. Now we gotta get out and like it these brushes and we all have to use it. Look at that. See how they did? That's not as quick, eh? But we don't not overwork the foundation, okay? You got it, you're there, now start blending it, work it, let's move on. Take your jawline and make sure your jawline is down. Here you
I ain't mad at you, champ. All I know is that when I grow older, I want to be like you. Because you are the hair extraordinaire. You don't understand, this guy is the greatest thing mixed about a boy. Wow, champ. All right, I'll this let is you what I was out shopping for you. Because I, I knew, that's why God put you in my life, because he just knew where I fall short. Welcome to Dan Bahamians, and welcome to the Manhattan Neighbor Network. My name is Beryl Edgecombe. I'm host and executive producer for Dan Bahamian. Ashton Hall, mm -hmm. fashion designer, and a recognized leading designer, mm -hmm. as well as a fabrication. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we also have with us Reggie Wells, longtime uh, makeup artist as well as um, Oprah's makeup artist for a number of years. Let's start with Reggie because we're we're kind of running close to time. Mm -hmm. um, give us an idea. When did you first started to to realize that makeup artist uh, was your profession? Well, artistry was my profession. So, no matter what you put it in, whether it's makeup hair, clothing, anything. I think artistry is the thing that pushed me. I was an artist all the time. I just took the next level and said I was going to change my canvas. And I started to say that skin could be the best canvas I could ever use. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, I blended a number of covers and said, and did another, a uh, lot of covers in the world and, and with a lot of different models and uh, celebrities. So right. I decided, let me make a career out of this okay. and let it work. And, it happened that way. Okay, and now um, you, you're, you're, uh, you were Oprah Winfrey's uh, makeup artist for oh, a number of years. Oprah, a number of years. Uh, Destiny's Child for a number of years. Uh, Whitney Houston for a number of years. So the years go on. It's my fourth <laughs> decade. Uh -huh, and so uh -huh. I think a lot of people paid the way for me to be in this position right now. And I'm just here enjoying the rest of my life and ending it, I think, the right way. Okay. Well, having worked with those uh, artists that you've mentioned, mm -hmm. um, what have you learned that you can share with a lot of ladies here who would like to know? I think for working with celebrities of all types, I've learned one thing. Either you create the look or you tend to improve the look. I've worked with a lot of people, young, old, and uh, really ancient, not ancient ideas came mm -hmm. from the artistry of the Egyptians. And so I learned how to take that color and take the black woman into her original state. I let them be gods, no matter what it was, and lipstick mm -hmm. and eyeshadow <laughs> and foundation. I just explored the whole idea of the history of Nefertiti and made all our women's queens, okay. including me. <laughs> I, think, I think that's one of the great things about it. Okay, now you're retired. I'm retired. Okay, and uh, what is your mission now? I hope you're not going to sit back and watch TV all day. Well, you know what? I don't <laughs> sit back and watch TV. I want to do my own TV show, so I'm ready to do my reality show. Okay, I thought I'd okay. give a lot of people time, but I want to say something really clearly so people can understand it. In order for you to do a television show, you must have all the knowledge in the world mm -hmm. to do one. And I think it takes a legend to put that in standards. Mm -hmm. And I think I've given 43 great years to talk about what I've done okay. and to lead in that way for uh -huh. people to learn more about the business. Okay. Now, having dealt with all those artists and all, all of that expertise, do you have? Do you think that you should uh, be able to take that uh, talent and make? Uh, maybe a cosmetic line or something of that nature? I have already done a cosmetic line. We'll be entering on television next year called Shark Tank. Shark Tank. So it's an invention that I came up with and own the patent to. And I'm kind of interested to see how the, the public takes it. And mm -hmm. I thought that that might be a good adventure. Instead of doing a reality show on it, let me take that Shark Tank and then I can open the reality thing. So okay. what makeup has done for me is open doors and I'm ready yeah. to open other doors. And I'm teaching a lot of young artists now yes. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. how to Good. be a great artist. Yeah. And I think that's the reward. I was a school teacher in the beginning. Mm. So I'm going to lead out of the country and out of the world as a school teacher. Okay, <laughs> exactly. great, so great. congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fashion designer Alfred, um, Ashton ah. Hall. Yes. What, what, expo what um, inspiration did you have to come up with the idea that, well, you wanted to have a fashion show here at Manhattan Neighbor Network and on Dan Bahamians? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's, I had the opportunity to meet Beryl at a previous um, interview where I presented just a, um, a small capsule of the collection, but this um, 
presentation you will see today is our full spring summer secret garden collection. And I'm so excited about this um, new line that we just did because of the intricacies of the fabrications, um, the, the use of color, and, and then you'll see there's so many hidden messages underneath the collection. It's something where you'll see it once, but then when you look at it again, you'll really understand the premise of what's behind the Secret Garden collection. Okay, great. So, so I tell excited. you what, let's um, get some fashions going, and then we'll talk okay. in the meantime. Okay. So we'll take the first model. It doesn't sound as if they're ready to walk out, so yes. let me ask you. Now, you're, you've been a fashion designer for uh, a number of years. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what inspired you to take on that profession? And when did you start, um, you know, I, saying that this was going to be your, your um, my profession? Career. <laughs> yeah. I started about 20, 25 years I've been in the industry. Um, and really inspiration came from um, my, my parents, believe it or not. My mom, she was someone that would sew at home. And I would see her kind of create these garments. And it really, it was something that kind of stuck with me. And I went on to work with some great designers, um, had the opportunity to live in Paris, which was a dream come true. Um, but this is really something I am now nurturing and I'm growing because it means so much to me. And more importantly, it gives me the platform to also give back and to teach others that want to come into this industry. And I think that's so important not to forget those that are coming behind us. Right, right, beautiful. Okay, um, do we have a model? No. Okay. Music. 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 Okay. So again, here in the collection, you're going to see, you know, the inspiration of the lace and the, and the patterns. And again, this is really an exciting piece because again, it's something where simple, easy, casual you can wear, um, but it's put together and it's for that really strong woman that just wants to make a core statement when she walks into a room. Mm -hmm. How did you uh, go about selecting a fabric for that, for this uh, um, outfit? Well, I knew I wanted to do something where, again, with the secret garden, it has, you know, it's going to take us back to the Garden of Eden type feeling. So again, you'll see the inspiration even in the menswear, where we do the lace shirts, mm -hmm. back to the ivy pants. It's very clean, it's very sophisticated. And again, it's something that I wanted to take on that challenge to make it loads of fun. Mm -hmm. Our next model. Again, you're going to see in this um, detailing here, I took the inspiration of the kimono sleeve. And again, you see the use of the lace pattern throughout the skirt. Again, it's really clean, it's fun, it's easy to wear. And I finish it off with the belt, so it gives the flexibility for our different clients. Unfortunately, the, uh, most of the uh, persons sitting in the back can't see the shoes. <laughs> are, are the shoes a part of your collection? Well, we're, we're actually working on a new shoe line, but what you're seeing is some of the test products. This is not the finished Ashton Hall shoes yet. Okay. Here, this is one of my favorite models, everyone. This is my daughter, Monet. <laughs> <laughs> and again, easy, simple dress. It's one of, one of my favorite day dresses you can wear. Flare skirt with pockets, so it's very casual. Again, our next model, again, really want you to take note of the movement of the, the fit and the flare. It's so important, I think, when designing to give an elegant look. And what is more feminine than a garment that is well fitted, but then you have a flowy skirt. Lace is going to be very popular this uh, this year. Yeah, and I thought it was important. Yeah, year, next year. yeah, for spring, you know, 2015, I really love the use of gold tones. Again, very easy to wear. And here we have our next model. What are, again, what you see here is now I'm pairing shape and contrast, where I love the light blue, which represents the sky, and then the gold, which is like the metallics. Again, we did it in a short and jacket combination. Okay, next. This again is what I consider that first lady that's a little daring. <laughs> so again, I really love the way I took the treatment of the lace and then incorporated this on top of the print. And this is so important that you'll see throughout the collection, this petite detail. Off the shoulder, scallop edge jacket, very elegant, very easy to wear. Next on the menswear collection, you know, again, I, I wanted to have fun with this again. So it was back to Eden. So this is how I saw 
the Adam, you know, cool, sophisticated. You see the patterns in the short, but he's wearing it with a simple light blue sky blue jacket. Very easy, casual to wear. And next we have Workin. He's wearing, again, from the Ashton Hall collection, a three-piece combination in the sky blue. And again, it was all about tailoring and fit that I wanted to make in this garment here. And you see as he unzips the jacket, you see the batik pattern flows from the shirt into the lining of the jacket. We top it off with a white belt, again, to really give it a cool spring look. Next we have from the collection, Shanice, she's wearing, again, one of my favorite pieces. It's a real easy, clean, sophisticated dress. You walk in that room and people say, okay, that's nice. But when she walks past and you see the back of the garment, it makes a statement. And that's one thing you'll notice from the Ashton Hall collection. We definitely want to give that extra twist. And I love the use of the gold lace. Okay, next we have more menswear. And this is for the daring, but this is one of my favorite pieces from the collection, the lace blue shirt, representative of the Ashton Hall collection. Shorts, very easy to wear, again, with the white belt. Gives really nice touch for spring. So we're gonna move the collection along just a little bit faster for you to see some more elements. Again, a day dress from the women's collection. Really easy, fun, as you see. Classic in the front, but when she turns around, the lace opening in the back gives that really elegant, sophisticated look. For a woman that wants to make a statement when she walks in the room. That gives that really elegant, sophisticated look. For a woman that wants to make a statement when she walks in the room. And again, the main thing I want you to notice with the collection, how it's interchangeable. You may say, oh, I love that jacket that I would wear with that skirt. And that was very important for us when we were designing the collection. But here's one, one of my pieces. I actually started out with this. This is one of the second pieces I built for the show. And I love the movement of the jacket. I think it's phenomenal. It's easy to wear, sophisticated, but it's a lot of fun. Again, next, it's all about fit and it's all about flair. Again, we all incorporate the lace. It, and it's all about flair. Again, we all incorporate the lace once again into the collection. And you guys are getting a special treat because we're introducing the luxury line of the leather bags of the Crocodile and Leather from the Ashton Hall collection. Don't worry, audience. You can ooh and ah. It's okay. <laughs> you can have fun. So again, yeah, we were really excited about this piece. And again, we kept mixing, you know, I wanted to again bring in this boutique piece. Which, and again, we kept mixing, you know, I wanted to again bring in this boutique piece, which I think is so important. You know, um, working with the fabric company, it's an African-inspired piece, but again, we wanted to give it a nice twist by matching it with a sophisticated blouse, and we did a matching clutch bag to go along with it. Again, just some of the fun pieces from the Ashton Hall collection. I know they're trying to move Next, this is new for us at the Ashton Hall Collection. We did swimwear. But again, this is something. Next, this is new for us at the Ashton Hall Collection. We did swimwear. But again, this is something fun. I still want it to be elegant. This is something on the Riviera. She walks in and people will say, okay, that's not made for the water. It's just something you want to sit out and be glamorous. Again, tote bag from the Ashton Hall collection. And then also, we didn't forget the men. We did something also for the menswear collection. Again, it was important to do what I call the square cut um, swimwear piece. Again, something that, again, you would just allow in the Ashton Hall collection. And then also, we didn't forget the men. We did something also for the menswear collection. Again, something that, again, you would just lounge around. If you were in Miami, you may not go into the water, but it's loads of fun. <clears throat> and next we have coming out, 
Again, one, one of our fun pieces. This is a print on print. And again, this is very strong for menswear, as you can see. So we did it in the shirt and we did it in the pants. So take note of the men's duffel. Again, leather and crocodile. Again, very special piece from the Ashton Hall collection. And again, next you see uh, we incorporated the again like I did with the lace back to the um, finished dress. And I like this because again, it's a little it looks a little daring, but it's really low to fun to wear when you're going out, you know, with some friends or even if you're going to a wedding and you just want to cause drama. You walk in and everyone will take a look. This is good to wear when you're coming a little late to the wedding. Again, from the Ashton Hall. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at some of the evening wear pieces. We have a few more to go, gang, so hold on, hold on. Again, fun piece, lace on top of the, um, what I call the lime green, and I love this, because again, elegant, sophisticated, lo loads of fun. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at some of the evening wear pieces. We have a few more to go, gang, so hold on, hold on. Again, fun piece, lace on top of the, um, what I call the lime green, and I love this, because again, Elegant, sophisticated, lo loads of fun. And I think the dress pretty much speaks for itself. Red carpet ready. And again, really fun piece that I did here for the um, Secret Garden collection. Next we have Suvi. Again, this is something where, when I met her and she did the casting, I said, oh my gosh, you are gorgeous. I said I can only do a dress representative of her. And that's what I do as a designer. I really get to know my clients and I had so much fun meeting the models. So this was something I built specially for her because I just felt it represented the model as well as the collection. The Secret Garden from Ashton Hall. Again, this is from the menswear. Red. I love red. Again, it's a, it's a showstop, and against his skin tone, I think it's really great. You walk in a room, everyone will notice you. You know. But again, it's all about the fit, easy, casual, ready to go. And next we have another have another garment from the Secret Garden Collection. And what we did was we incorporated, as you can see, flowers into the neckline of the one shoulder dress. Again, sophistication, something very pretty that she can wear, you know, as a bride, or she could just wear as a red carpet dress. And very pretty, very clean, very sophisticated. Thank you so much. So again, this next dress you're gonna see, actually I know we all heard about the loss of Joan Rivers and to me she was such a fashion icon. So this was something I designed two, a few days before the show, really representing, when I think of Joan, I think that she was bright and bold. She was not afraid to wear fashion. So she's, from a comedy standpoint, she's a great loss, but also from the fashion world. So this was my ode to Joan Rivers from the Lace, The Secret Garden from Ashton Hall.
And then our final garment. This is for the bride that is saying, I'm only gonna get married once, but you're gonna remember me. <laughs> and I think it's really, again, um, a special treat how we really took the garment, and this is then re-beaded with the rhinestone. So this is all hand beaded to really give that extra sparkle when you walk down the runway. Um, the veil, I have to give a shout out to a friend of mine, Mar uh, Martha, who did the veil for me for the show. Excellent job, and I think it gives a special touch to this bride. I think gold is the new ivory. Why not? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I know this is a little different from your typical runway show, but again, I really thought it was so important that you got a behind the scenes um, look at the show. So the model's gonna take their typical catwalk, and then that's pretty much it, everyone. Thank you. Uh, there's a live show that's coming right, ready to come in, so we're so trying to get to cut it short. Uh, but you'll be able to see the entire collection uh, on my show called Dembe Indians.